This week on Granite State Challenge, the Tomahawks of Merrimack High School take on the Indians of Sanborn Regional High School. Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready, it's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us this week. If you're tuning in for the first time this season, you're gonna notice a few differences around here. Uh, number one, all of our players are wearing masks and we've got some dividers on the podiums, some changes to the set and no audience here with us in the studio and, and these changes are to protect our players as well as our crew. We've also made some changes in round three and I'll talk about those when we get to round three. But most importantly, you're here to watch these two teams face off against each other to see who's going to advance to the next round of the tournament. Let's introduce them to you. First up, we have the Tomahawks of Merrimack High School. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm a senior. I've been a part of the Science Olympiad Club for three years. My name is Michael, I'm a senior, and every year I release a calendar of myself. Hi, I'm Aiden, and as a kid I was in a Peter Mayer concert. I'm Jack, I'm a sophomore, and I was seriously injured playing badminton. All right, the team alternates are Eris and Allie. The team is coached by Sarah Campbell and Kyle Harville, and they are the Tomahawks of Merrimack High School. All right, and ready to take them on are the Sanborn Regional High School Indians. I'm Diana, I'm a senior, and I like to sing. Aiden, I'm a senior, and I'm interested in environmental science. I'm Jared, I'm a junior, and I like monkeys. Hey, I'm Noah, I'm a junior, and I'm an avid running enjoyer. All right, excellent. The team alternate is Megan, and the team is coached by Brian Hurley. They are the Indians of Sanborn Regional High School. All right, and one more introduction this week, and that is, of course, our judge, Ann Belanger. All right, teams, introductions are out of the way. Let's get ready to play Granite State Challenge. In round one, we do 10-point toss-up questions. Each question is worth 10 points. Grab those signaling devices. Merrimack, Sanborn, good luck. Here we go. In a nursery rhyme, this character put his thumb in a Christmas pie and pulled out a plum. Sorry, Michael, not quite in time. That was little Jack Horner. Teams, how many vertebrae are there in the human neck? Michael of Merrimack? Eight. Sorry, no. Sanborn, want to give it a shot? Noah? Ten. Sorry, it's seven. In 1963, Soviet cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova became the first woman in space. Twenty years later, in 1983, this astronaut became the first American woman in space. Jared of Sanborn. Sally Ride? Yes. In a few billion years, it is predicted that the Milky Way galaxy will collide with this nearby galaxy and form a large elliptical galaxy which has been dubbed Milkomeda. Michael of Merrimack. Andromeda. Yes. 85 to 99 percent of the, the metal alloy pewter is this silvery metal with an atomic number of 50. Jack of Merrimack. Lead. Sorry, no. Noah of Sanborn. Nickel? Nope, it is tin. Victor Orban, beca who became the prime minister of this Central European country in 2010, was also the prime minister from 1998 to 2002. Uh, Nick of Merrimack. Czech Republic? Sorry, no. Sorry, Jared, not in time. It is Hungary. This governor of Alaska was chosen by John McCain as his vice presidential running mate in his 2008 presidential campaign. 
Aiden of Sarah Bear Palin. Man. Say it again. Sarah Palin. Yes. While sometimes identified as a jellyfish, this marine invertebrate, named for a type of ship, is a siphonophore, uh, or colonial organism. Nick of Merrimack. Portuguese man of war? Yes. The United Kingdom is made up of Great Britain and this region. Michael of Merrimack. Wales. Sorry, no. Noah of Sanborn? Northern Ireland. Yes. Kevin, Joe, and Nick make up this band that first gained popularity on the Disney Channel. Michael of Merrimack. The Jonas Brothers. Yes. The 1836 serial publication of the Pickwick Papers launched this Victorian writer's prolific career. Aiden of Charles Merrimack. Charles Dickens. Say it again. Charles Dickens. Yes. This country shares the island of Hispaniola with the Dominican Republic. Nick of Merrimack. Haiti. Yes. This 17-foot statue by Michelangelo portrays a giant slaying biblical figure. Nick of Merrimack. David. Correct. All right, teams, in case you need pen and pad, you have it there. If Kathy earns $10 an hour and gets time and a half for every hour over 40 hours, how much will she earn in a 60-hour week? Jack of Merrimack? 700. That's it. In 1993, Czechoslovakia separated into the Czech Republic and this country. Nick of Merrimack. Slovenia? Sorry, no. Noah of Sanborn. Bosnia? Sorry, no, nope, it's Slovakia. This singer-songwriter wrote and recorded the country classic hits, Move It On Over, Your Cheatin' Heart, Hey, good looking, and I'm so lonesome I could cry. Michael of Merrimack. Whitney Houston? Sorry, no. Noah of Sanborn. Johnny Cash? Nope, good guesses. Hank Williams was the correct response. All right, teams, you will find both Dartmouth College and Plymouth State University in this county named for a British Duke and Prime Minister. Jack of Merrimack. Rockingham? Sorry, no. Noah of Sanborn. Carol? Nope, it's Grafton County, named for Augustus Fitzroy, the third Duke of Grafton. Who knew? Before he became President of the United States, Ronald Reagan was the governor of this state. Jack of Merrimack. California? Yes. John Richard Baldwin, who founded the band Led Zeppelin with Jimmy Page, is better known by this stage name that he shares with a Revolutionary War naval commander. Nick of Merrimack. John Paul Jones. Yes. This Boston University biochemistry professor also wrote iRobot and the Galactic Empire series. Dick. Nick of Merrimack. Isaac Asimov. Yes, he's the one. START one, the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty between the United States and the Soviet Union was signed by these two leaders in 1991. Noah of Sanborn. Um, George Bush and Mikhail Gorbachev. I need you to be more specific on the... George H.W. Correct. Thank you. All right, teams. The next question is our Unitil power question. It's going to come to you on your monitors, so take a look. It's worth double the points. 20-point toss-up question. Take a look. What are the two numbers found in the binary system of numbers? Aiden of Merrimack. Zero and one. That's the two. All right, teams, this Quaker abolitionist and women's rights activist who was excluded from the World Anti-Slavery Convention held in London in 1840 because of her gender was one of the organizers and a featured speaker at the 1848 Seneca Falls Convention. Nick of Merrimack. Is there going to truth? Sorry, no. That was a good shot. It was Lucretia Mott. Teams, you'll find the Bonneville Salt Flats, the site of the U.S. Flight Archery Championships and the Bonneville Speedway in this state. Jack of Merrimack. Utah. Correct. These French brothers were paper makers and hot air balloon inventors. Correct response, the Montgolfier brothers. 
All right, teams, this Stratford, New Hampshire city is home to the New Hampshire Children's Museum and the Woodman Institute. Didn't quite get to the end of that question. It was the Woodman Institute in Dover, New Hampshire. And after one round by a lead of 140 to 30, Merrimack is in the lead. All right, nice job, Merrimack. Good job, Sanborn. We're going to roll right into round two. And in round two, we're going to continue with the toss-up questions, but we're going to double the point value. So we're now playing for 20-point toss-up questions. Here we go, teams. Good luck. Give the sum total of the years in a decade and a century. Nick of Merrimack. 110 years. Correct. The Los Alamos National Laboratory, which was used to design nuclear weapons as part of the Manhattan Project, is located in this state. Jared of Sanborn. New Mexico. Yes. Kurt Cobain was the lead singer and Dave Grohl was the drummer of this grunge band. Michael of Merrimack. Nirvana. Yes. Black merchant Joshua Jenkins Roberts became the first president of this country after it claimed its independence in 1847. He also was the country's seventh president. Jared of Sanborn. 80. Sorry, nope. Nick of Merrimack. Liberia. Liberia is correct. In a 1951 educational film, Bert the Turtle encouraged students to do this in the case of a nuclear explosion. Jack of Merrimack. Duck and cover. Duck and cover, yes. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi serves as a congressional representative from this state. Diana of Sanborn. California. Correct. All right, team, for this next question, go ahead and take a look at your monitors. Only two small populations of this uh, four to seven inch small turtle, which is sometimes confused with the Blandings turtle, are known in New Hampshire, and the species is endangered in the state. Nick of Merrimack. Snapping turtle? Sorry, nope. That little guy is called the Eastern Box Turtle. All right, teams, this fictional British Secret Service agent was created by author Ian Fleming in 1953. Aiden of Merrimack. James Bond. Yes. This former U.S. representative from Arizona who survived an, an assassination attempt in 2011 that killed six people has become an advocate for anti-gun violence solutions. Jack of Merrimack. Gabby Giffords. Yes, she's the one. This American-born writer who became a British citizen in 1927 published one of his best-known works, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, in 1915. Michael of Merrimack. Hippolyn. Sorry, no. Was T.S. Eliot. In this 1937 novel by Zora Neale Hurston, set in Florida, middle-aged Janie Crawford recounts her life beginning in her teenage years. Michael of Merrimack. Firefly Lane. Sorry, no. That book was titled, Their Eyes Were Watching God. The Khmer Rouge, under the leadership of this man, were responsible for the deaths of as many as two million Cambodians from 1975 to 1979. Jared of Sanborn. Pot. Correct. In 1952, this future president and running mate of Dwight Eisenhower went on national TV and gave a speech later known as the Checkers speech to address reporting on a questionable political fund. Jack of Merrimack. Richard Nixon. He's the one. In this novel by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes is called to a manor on Dartmoor in Devon to solve the murder of a man found not far from huge canine footprints. Aiden of Merrimack. The Hound of Baskerville. We'll give that to you. All right, teams, just in case you need pen and paper there, you have it. What is the decimal equivalent rounded to three places of one-ninth. Ooh, almost there, Jack. The division is tough. It's point one, one, one. All right, teams. This could be an empire that lasted from the 14th to the early 20th century, 
or a large padded footstool. Jack of Merrimack. The Ottoman Empire. Correct. In 1913, this American psychologist published Psychology as the Behaviorist Views It, which is also known as the Behaviorist Manifesto. Noah of Sanborn. Um, Sigmund Freud. Sorry, no. Good guess, it was John B. Watson, and that sound indicates the end of round two. And at the end of round two, Merrimack has extended their lead by a score of 320 to 90. All right, teams, now we're gonna move into round three. And in round three, we are calling this our 60, sorry, our three strikes and your out round. So we're gonna start with um, the team trailing. You're going to be given 10 questions in a category. Um, Diana, as a team captain, you get to select that category, and you'll get the first question, Kaden will get the second question, and we'll go right down the line just like that. Make sense? All right, Diana, you get to choose from these categories. Lone consonant for the birds, and sometimes why? Um, can you repeat them? Sure, lone consonant for the birds, and sometimes why? Sometimes why? Sometimes why it is, okay. All right, Sanborn, in this category, the answers to the following will include words where Y is used as the only vowel. Make sense? All right, Diana, we will start with you. This medium-sized wild cat comes in Canada, Iberian, and Eurasian versions. Lynx. Correct. Caden, you might sing one of these in church. Him. Him is correct. Jared. This is where you might keep the dead bodies. You might keep them in a crypt. Uh, Noah, you might ask the insect, this, sorry, you might ask this insect to shoo. Uh, mosquito? No, it's a fly. Uh, this, uh, back to you, Diana. This could be a genre of folklore or a fake story. The answer we were looking for there was myth. So that's three strikes and you're out. And by my count, that is two on your three strikes and you're out round. All right, we turn to Merrimack. And Nick, as the team captain, you get to choose from the categories lone consonant or for the birds. For the birds. For the birds. OK. The answers to the following will be related to birds. All right, Nick, here we go. Poem by Edgar Allan Poe with a Nevermore Bird. The Raven. Correct. Michael, bird that was a harbinger of doom in the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Crow. Sorry, it's the albatross. Aiden, she thought the sky was falling. Chicken Little. Correct. Jack, the tail of a duck that was really a swan. The Ugly Duckling. Correct. Back to you, Nick. Autobiographical story by Maya Angelou. Listen up. It is, I know why the caged bird sings. Michael, story of the Finch family by Harper Lee. To kill a mockingbird. Correct. Aiden, she is the fictional author of a collection of French fairy tales. You may know her as Mother Goose. And that is your third strike. And so after that, four correct responses on your three strikes and your out round. All right, teams, Merrimack hanging on to that lead. But Sanborn, don't fret, because in round four, we're going to resume with the 20-point toss-up questions. But we will be deducting 20 points for any incorrect responses. So a lot can change in round four. Merrimack, Sanborn, here we go. Good luck. This hip hop group's 1982 breakout hit, The Message, opens with a line, it's like a jungle sometimes, and goes on to describe the stress of living in the inner city. Noah of Sanborn. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. You got it. All right, teens, in case you need the pen and paper, you know where to find them. Calculate the area of a square whose perimeter is 5.6 feet. Mm -hmm. 
That was a tough one. It's 1.96 square feet. All right, teams. English record producer George Martin is often referred to as the fifth member of this group. Nick of Merrimack. The Beatles? Yes. This Massachusetts Democrat was Speaker of the House from 1977 to 1987 and is famous for saying, all politics is local. Jack of Merrimack. O'Neill? Tip O'Neill is correct. This could be a Central American country or a 1984 song about a car by the band Van Halen. Jared of Sanborn. Panama? You got it. Former President Barack Obama's father was from this country in Eastern Africa. Noah of Sanborn? Kenya. Yes. Teams, in what Shakespearean play will you find the characters Goneril, Reagan, and Cordelia? Nick? King Lear? Yes. That's the one. Michael Stipe was the lead singer of this band, known for the songs Losing My Religion, Shiny Happy People, and Everybody Hurts. Aiden of Merrimack. R.E.M. Yes. This company, founded in 1870 by John D. Rockefeller and Henry Flagler, was declared an illegal monopoly by the United States Supreme Court in 1911. Jack of Merrimack. Andrew Doyle. Correct. This play by Samuel Beckett features two main characters, Vladimir and Estragon. Jack of Merrimack. Waiting for Godot. That's it. In a 1964 State of the Union address, President Lyndon Johnson declared a war on this. Michael of Merrimack. Drugs? Sorry, no. <laughs> Noah of Sanborn? Uh, racism? Nope, it was a war on poverty. This German composer, often referred to as the Waltz King, composed works like The Blue Danube and The Emperor Waltz. It was Johann Strauss. All right, teams, this city-state in Rome is home to the Catholic Pope. Noah of Sanborn? The Vatican. Correct. This politician was the first female governor of New Hampshire elected to the position. Jack of Merrimack. Jean Jaheen. She's the one. This musician was a lead singer, songwriter, and the rhythm guitarist for the Beatles. Aiden of Merrimack. John Lennon. He's the one, yes. The Battle of Hastings between William, the Duke of Normandy, and Anglo-Saxon King Harold Godwinson was fought on October 14th of this year. Nick of Merrimack. 1066. That's the year. Future President Andrew Jackson led the American forces in this battle that occurred 18 days after the signing of the Treaty of Ghent, which ended world, the War of 1812. Nick of Merrimack. Battle of New Orleans. That's the right one. Juan Domingo Perón was president of this country from 1946 to 1955. Noah of Sanborn. Mexico? Sorry, no. He was the president of Argentina. All right, teams. This state flower of Massachusetts is also the name of a famous ship. Jack of Merrimack. Mayflower. That's it. This 1993 movie was about a group of baseball playing kids and a big slobbery dog. Jared of Sanborn. Sandlot. Yes. This lead singer for The Doors, who died in Paris at age 27, is also known as the Lizard King. Jared of Sanborn. Jim Morrison. He's the right one. This group of superheroes, including Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, and the Green Lantern, is collectively known as this. Nick of Merrimack. The Justice League. That's it. Radio City Music Hall has been the home of this precision dance company since 1932. Nick of Merrimack. Rockettes. Yes. Actress Jane Wyman, who won a Best Actress Oscar for the 1948 film Johnny Belinda. We will not finish that question at the end of the match by a score of 600 to 190. Merrimack will be moving on to the next rounds. All right, congratulations Merrimack. Good win, Sanborn. We hope you did have fun. We thank you so much for coming in, guys. And we hope you had fun at home as well. And you hope us, we hope you join us next week when the Plymouth Regional High School Bobcats take on the Exeter High School Blue Hawks. 
That's going to do it for us this week at Granite State Challenge. I hope you had fun. I learned a lot, and I hope you did too. We'll see you next time. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you.